Sulfidations are a major concern in every sewer, like this one in Mexico, due to the buildup of sulfide leading to corrosion, odor nuisance, and health impacts on those that work in the sewers. The corrosion of sewers results from a series of chemical reactions in which two types of bacteria participate, aerobic and anaerobic bacteria. Aerobic bacteria require oxygen for their metabolism, whereas anaerobic bacteria do not. In every sewer, there are two distinctive zones, wet zone, which are the walls of the sewer in contact with the wastewater, and vapor zone, or sewer atmosphere, which are the walls not in contact with the wastewater. In the wet zone, aerobic bacteria oxidize sulfide to sulfuric acid, leading to the corrosion of concrete wall and any metallic component within. In the vapor zone, anaerobic bacteria reduce sulfate into hydrogen sulfide gas, which, along with volatile organic compounds, create odor nuisance and problems to working personnel in the sewer. Of course, this process is extremely influenced by the pH, temperature, and concentration of species in the sewer. The system of deep drainage is designed to evacuate the sewer and rainwater from the city of Mexico. Since we are now in a season of drought, we have taken advantage of this time to conduct maintenance throughout the tunnel. Firstly, we examine the tunnel with specially designed lifts and review the entire deep drainage system. Depending on the damage we observe, we assess the repairs. We have found that the areas towards the surface of the tunnel were those that suffered the most wear. It has worn the radius of the tunnel, the concrete surface, as much as 20 centimeters. It has also damaged the steel reinforcement bars. Due to this, the Water Department for the City of Mexico decided to try several products in order to find the right solution and protect the tunnel's substrate against the chemical attacks resulting from the gases released inside the tunnel. It's the same product with a different color. We first spray one coat in beige and then return to spray a second coat on top in gray. It's very complicated to ensure two even coats if you don't use this two different color method. The important thing here is to apply one color and then a second coat in a different color so that you can see a contrast and know where you have applied a second coat. I was in charge of this Belzona application. It is a coating of very high technology to avoid corrosion onto concrete and steel. This product was recommended over a year and a half ago to protect large parts of the sewer system. The product is essentially applied in two coats. The first coat is applied in gray and a second coat in beige. The seal that results is one that will last for decades that will protect against bacterial attack and any formation of sulfuric acid that is what caused the deterioration of the tunnel for the most part. The system of colors of applying different coats is good since it allows us to distinguish perfectly between the first coat and the second. It was being done linearly or a straight angle from an adequate distance. We would cover the substrate uniformly allow the first gray coating to dry for at least 24 hours and then return with the second coating in beige. Even though the application was two kilometers long, there was no application like it beforehand. So it was very difficult for us to find out exactly how to do it. Here in Mexico, we consider this to be the first of an application so large. And we learned a lot on how to do the application, what type of equipment to use, and even the smallest details such as what hoses were required, capacities, resistance, and so on. The first problem that arose when we arrived here, determined by engineer Alonso, was how to apply the product in the surface, which was dirty, poorly illuminated, and a circle or curved surface. The displacement was also difficult due to water present. We thought of a mobile vehicle that would permit moving throughout the tunnel. It would allow for us to carry product leave and enter with the product and would be able to take several people throughout the tunnel. We worked with various specialists, mechanics and welders. We thought carefully on the ergonomics, that the people feel secure in this vehicle and that it's stable. The wheels were given an inclination of approximately 37 degrees so that they would run well against the tunnel wall, since there was no place to rest the wheels if they were a conventional vertical design. This, aside from the fact that it rests well against the wall, also provided a lot of stability, which makes the workers on top feel very secure. 
The Belzona application proved to be a success. One year after the application, the tunnel was carefully inspected and the coating showed little wear. It held very well against the harsh environment within the tunnel. Once again, Bolzona proved to be the solution to repair, protect, and improve.